apply, smudge, and finish up. I can assure you that every one of you will be able to create this fabulous look quickly and easily by the end of this tutorial. Hi everyone, it's Smitha. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the stunning smudged coal smoky eye for ETH. So if you're ready, let's begin. I'm going to start with some hydration to my face and for that I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This is super moisturizing and I'm not really going to be using a primer today. I'm just going to stick with this. Using the Milani Concealer in the shade 145, which is a true match to my skin, I'm going to conceal in areas where I have patches, like my under eye dark circles as well as around my mouth. And while that's getting a little tacky, I'm going to use some contour and for that I'm using a deeper shade of concealer from Colourpop in the shade 200N. I'm mostly going to focus this in the hollows of my cheekbones and the circumference of my face as well as in my jawline. To blend it out, I'm using the Real Techniques Angled Brush. Now the reason I did not blend out the lighter concealer immediately is because when it gets tacky and a little bit dry, it gives you more coverage when you blend it out. If you blend it out immediately, it gives you more sheer coverage. And for somebody like me who has dark circles and dark patches, I want more coverage. So I'm going to wait it out just for a couple minutes till it gets a little bit tacky and dry and then I'm going to blend it out. So I don't need much product. I've used very less product but it's giving me beautiful coverage. For foundation I'm using Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Medium Coverage Liquid Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid and this is in the shade 7 Neutral. I'm going to dot it around my face and I'm again using a Real Techniques brush but this is a foundation brush to blend this out. And please observe while I'm blending out the foundation, I'm avoiding the areas where I applied the contour. If I blend it over the contour, it's going to mix with the foundation and then when I use the brush in other areas, there's going to be patches of that contour giving you different tones on your face. So I'm going to wait till I completely blend out the foundation on my face and neck before I blend it with the contour. For blush, again, I'm using Charlotte Tilbury this is the matte beauty blush wands and i'm using the shade dream pop which is a matte cherry pink this is very pigmented so i'm just applying a couple dots before i quickly blend it with my fingers using the huda beauty banana bread powder i'm only going to set in areas where i've applied the concealer where i might crease or get sweaty or oily which is mostly in my t-zone and under my eyes And to lock my base makeup in so it doesn't move, I'm going to be using the Benefit Super Setter Setting Spray. This is also going to melt all the products that's on my face and make it look more skin-like. Using the Milani Brow Wax, I'm going to brush my brow hair first in the reverse direction and then I'm going to brush it upwards. That's going to set and hold it in its place. And then I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Balm Brows Micro Shade Brow Pencil in the shade Soft Black. And how does this compare against my favorite pencil, which is the Benefit Precisely My Brow? This is less pigmented than the Benefit Precisely My Brow. So depending on the occasion, if you want a lighter, more natural touch, you can go with the Huda one. And if you want more pigment, you can go with the Benefit one. Using the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Exaggerize, this is an eye pencil with dual side. One has the metallic champagne shade and one has the black shade, which I'm using. I'm going to tight line as well as use it in my lash line doesn't have to be perfect because we will smudge this and the easiest way to smudge it is with your finger you don't have to be neat with this just go for it i'm going to be using the milani gilded mini palette it's a neutral palette with a couple of shimmers i'm starting with this brown shade and i'm going to apply it all over my lid and i'm going to blend out the edges at the crease Milani products are so awesome they're so pigmented i absolutely love everything about this brand I'm also going to be using that brown eyeshadow to soften my lower lash line. Next, I'm going to pick up this ivory shimmer with my pinky finger and I'm going to apply it to the inner third. Dipping into this bronzy gold shade and applying it to the center of my lid with my finger again. And then blending out this black eyeshadow in the very outer corner <laughs> and literally you're done. That's pretty much it my friends, it's time to curl my lashes and apply a coat of mascara. I'm going to be using the Huda Legit Lashes Double Ended Volumizing as well as Lengthening Mascara. I'm going to first use the lengthening side and then I'm going to be using the volumizing side. You can of course use false lashes if you prefer but I wanted to keep this tutorial very simple but at the same time glam enough but I wanted to keep it very quick and easy and that's why I'm going to just stick with mascara today. And here's the finished eye look. 
How quick was that? Let me know in comments if you think you'll be able to recreate this look. Time to apply some lipstick before we get done. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0 in Deep Rose as my lip liner. Make sure to always smudge out your lip liner before you apply the lipstick so they blend in well. And then I'm going to fill in my lips using the Huda Beauty Cream Lipstick in Habibi. Here's the finished look. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs up. Also, I'd love to know what do you think about my background? I have a huge window behind me. Do you like it? Let me know in the comment section. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to watch more videos like these. Eid Mubarak in advance to everybody. I love you so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.